Je Jeff Onofrio from Mortgage Possible uh, in South Jersey joins us this morning. So good morning to you, Jeff. Thanks, Appreciate Nick. You being here. So of course we've heard one of the biggest trends is that that market goes up. A lot of a lot of people look to buy mm -hmm. uh, during the summer months. Is that still the case? Yeah, absolutely. Spring and uh, summer market are extremely hot right now for sure. Okay, and with that in mind, uh, what if people should know? as far as going into the buying or selling of their homes as they head into this hot market? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think the most important thing is really understanding what you can afford. Uh, and affordability versus what you can get qualified for are two different things. A lot of people can get qualified for a lot more. Mm -hmm. uh, but ultimately, though, we want to be sure we're not going to get ourselves uh, house poor. So we want to make sure we're at least uh, understanding what affordability piece is, is good for us. Right, and house poor is, is a common theme here. But mm -hmm. we've also heard kind of the, the argument gaining steam of staying in a rental property as opposed to buying. What's the, what's the kind of latest on that kind of back and forth? Yeah, I, I mean, I think there's always that somewhat of an argument because of what we saw happen with the downturn years ago. Sure. And I think people always have a little bit of that fear in the back of their head. Uh, but ultimately, if you look at anything out there, you know, in today's world, that the people who make the most money as far as wealth creation is, is, is done using real estate. So the sooner you can buy a property and get yourself in there and actually building up equity, that's where you're going to really make some money. Yeah, the idea that your money is going so towards something you own as opposed to just uh, money that goes to someone else's pockets. For sure. All right, so you have some tips to share for us because uh, there's two huge groups out there that are, are involved in real estate right now. The millennials mm -hmm. who are possibly looking to buy and of course the baby boomers yep. who may be wanting to downsize. So let's, let's kind of address the millennials first. Sure. We've got some tips here on your screen. Yep. We're going to go uh, through them right now, but these are the four tips. Uh, determine how much you can afford. Break that down for us. Yeah, really the most important thing is get pre-approved. You know, understand how much you can actually afford. And I like to back into it. Understand how much you're going to spend in taxes, insurance, and then from there, then start talking about what your payment's going to look like. Um, so really starting at that point. Okay, you also want to research the neighbor neighborhood, it says. Yeah, right. absolutely. Definitely researching the neighborhood. You know, you don't want to buy the biggest house in the neighborhood. You don't want to be the one that's the, uh, the small you want to kind of figure out the one that's the best fit for you. And uh, it doesn't always have to be the one that's completely ready to go. It could be something that uh, needs a little bit of work, a little TLC. And you've also got a competitive offer. So if this is something that you want, you want to go in strong, obviously. Absolutely. Talk to your real estate agent. Your real estate agent's going to be your best advocate for that. Um, they're going to know the market better than anybody. Right. And your final tip for millennials then? I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah, just, just being, being aware of what, what you have then, right? Yep. Understand, okay. Understanding your ability and your, yep. Okay. And let's go, let's go to the, the baby boomers now as well. So sure. these are some of the tips there. Uh, research and strategize uh, right there. That's the number one. Explain that a little bit. Yeah, I mean, right now they have so many tools that are out there on the Internet um, that you can actually use. So for baby boomers, it's a great place to start. Really look at what's out there, understand what your options are, and make sure you price your property uh, accordingly. Right. You don't want it to sit on the market for a long time. Exactly. That does not look good on you. Yep. All right. Sell your home before you buy. That's a big one. Yeah, well, I mean, the big thing is when you're looking to, to buy and move into that next property and you're trying to downsize, you're trying to lower your payments, you're trying to lower as much as possible. So you're using that equity from the sale of your property and you're using it to basically get yourself into a lower payment as you're doing your downsizing. So that's always a good place okay, to start. And, and finally, as you get older in life, budgets are so important, right? Absolutely. Because you've got your, your pensions or your 401k coming in, so yep. you have a limited amount, you know what you're going to get. So you, you advise folks to create a detailed budget here. Absolutely. Sit with your financial advisor or your CPA, you really understand understand how much money you have to spend and what you want to live comfortably so that you can enjoy your golden years, whether that's going through trips or whatever the case may be, but take your time and actually build out that budget. Yeah, two, two big moments, uh, not, mm -hmm. nothing to be afraid of though, right? Wh whichever yep. end of the spectrum you're on, whether you're a baby boomer looking to sell or a millennial looking to buy, uh, it's something that you can approach as long as you have some information. Sure, absolutely, yeah, yeah. and work with the right professionals, it makes all the difference in the world. All right, and Jeff Onofrio is just that, so for more information, where can people go? Uh, you can go to mortgagepossible.com um, or you can find us uh, on Facebook. All right. Yep. Jeff Onofrio from mortgagepossible.com. Appreciate it. A lot of good tips there as we head into the hot months of the real estate market.